Good evening, everybody. This is North Carolina Pre Prepper. Yeah. I'm uh, I'm gonna make an overly complex diode for a crystal radio project I'm doing. Um, this is way harder than it needs to be, but it's just a fun project. So I'll use this in the crystal radio, and then I'll show you how to do a lot easier. But what we need is you're gonna need a copper chore boy or copper copper mesh. This will be our substitute for copper filings. We're just going to chop it up really small. You're going to need some copper wire. And what you need is some um, copper um, copper oxide. I don't have any, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap this down and coil it up. I wish I had a wire wrap or a punch tool, punch down tool, but I don't have one here. But we're going to, we could just take um, and get this uh, oxidized with heat. And then scrape off the coating and do it over and over and over until we have a significant amount. In this case, I'm just going to wrap it around the tip of this pin, this uh, pointer here. And uh, we're going to put it inside the pin here. We're going to use that as a tube for our diode casing. Um, couldn't find glass tubes small enough. And, you know, that's what I'd like to use. But it doesn't really matter what you use. I just wanted to see through for the video. So we're going to cut this down a little bit. And we're going to, I'm going to coil this up. And I'm going to, I'm going to heat it up with the torch multiple times to... Uh, Get a good a good coating of uh, copper on there, uh, a good uh, coating of uh, oxide on the copper, and then we're gonna push it halfway through uh, this pin here. We're gonna pop the end off, and we'll push it through here, and then we'll take the other end and we'll fill it up with this, and then we'll push copper into this inside. So you'll see once I get it done, but you don't want the two things to touch directly, and this will in fact make a diode. Now we're gonna use that to. Um, to be like um, in the radio, like a detector kind of, kind of, kind of like a geranium diode, but that's more of a point diode. This is the uh, other kind. I can't think. It's uh, I forget offhand, but trust me, I'm working. We use the voltmeter to verify that it's actually working as a diode. And you may have to do it a couple times because if this gets the coating gets scratched when you put this in here, it'll be a dead short or dead open, and you don't want that. So. Let me go ahead and get this built, and then I'll show you how I'm going to, how I'm going to do it piece by piece as I do it, and I'll get into it. So first I'm going to make the, the bottom part of the diode. I'm going to pull out a length of wire here, and then I'm going to punch it through uh, one of these little end caps here. Or maybe I'll just shorten this first. Yeah, I'll punch it through. No, you know, I'll shorten this. I'll shorten it. And I'll be right back. Okay, so here's the bottom part of the diode. The part that's going to go through the cap is basically going to go inside like this we're going to oxidize it though to be in part of the glass tube and then we're going to I'm going to run the back end through one of these little plugs here from the back of the pen be like that we'll seal it we'll probably hot glue it or wax or use whatever you got I'm going to use hot glue but it'll be in like that we're going to oxidize it then we're going to chop this up into little tiny pieces and push it inside um, you could use copper filings or anything, but I don't feel like filing down copper right now like a penny or anything. So I don't want to do that. So let me go ahead and get this all burnt up with the torch and get it all coated in oxidization. And I'll go ahead and insert it through here and insert it in the thing and do the first half of it. Like I said, normally you just, you'd put copper oxide or copper oxide in there and fill it up above this part. So you finish that up and then you have it fill it up to copper oxide right up to the level of the the uh, wire there and then you put those in there and you, then you'll insert the other part other wire in there another piece of copper from the top but you don't let them where am I sorry you insert it but you don't let them touch and you let it go through the copper filings and you have to do it a couple times to make sure you don't scratch the coating off of this so let's go ahead and get into that and I'll be right back once I get that part finished all right, so we're gonna heat this up a bunch of times so it's cherry colored. And let it cool. And heat it. And let it cool. We're building up an oxide layer on there. We're oxidizing it basically with copper and oxygen. We're using a torch so we know it's in carbon on there. Let it build up. We don't want it to melt. When we get enough on it, it'll actually flake off. It's kind of like the same way you do the solar panel, um, homemade solar panel. Only we don't want the red oxide. Well, the red oxide and the black oxide is both okay on this. On the solar panel, you want to let the black oxide flake off. 
soaking out the soul, the red oxide, but that's another video for another time. So I'm going to keep doing this probably about 20 times or so. You get a lot of oxidation on there, and then I'll be back after I insert it into the, uh, the bottom portion of the pen. And I'll be back. Okay, there it is. It's all uh, oxidized up. So we'll get back to that. Oops. I'm going to go ahead and insert it in the pen. And we'll get back to that in a minute. Okay, I got that part inserted now. Now we're going to take this, uh, this copper pad here and chop it up in little tiny pieces. But first, I'm going to go ahead and make the other end piece. And I'm going to just do the same thing to the other end. And I'll go in there. Well, uh, oh, if I figure it out here. There we go. About that far. Not too far. I'm going to roll it up in a ball or spiral it up like that one. And then I'm going to push it in. And we're going to chop up this in little pieces. This will be our iron powder or iron filings or iron shavings or whatever. And we're going to go ahead and put that in there. And that will be our connector when it gets the right diode. So... Let me go ahead and fill that up and cut and put this piece together and I'll assemble it and you'll see. I'll be right back. Okay, so here it is. I got it set up so you can see them both now. I'm going to go ahead and touch my electro or my uh, probes to the thing. And as you can see, there's no conductivity in that direction. None. So if I switch them, I should have conductivity. There we go. See that? So there it is. So let me um go back the other way to show you again. That doesn't work. That doesn't work that way. Nothing, see? But if you go back this way, we have conductivity. There we go. Conductivity. So let me get this out and let me show you a better view of it and we're going to focus on just it and I'll be right back. Okay, so you look at it, there it is. That took like an hour to get to work. I mean, it's very, very delicate. And like I said, it should be the last resort. <clears throat> In this case, it would be much better to use a razor blade and uh, a lighter to oxidize it or blue it so you can use that as a detector. And just make a point diode, but this is just what you can do. And like I said, it's overly complex, but it was a fun project for me. And I don't know if I can get this to work with my crystal radio now, because every time you touch it, it gets knocked out. So I guess if you had like that, and then you put heat shrink tubing over to hold everything and glue it in, it would work. But it's like I said, it's very, very careful, dog. It's very, very fragile, and you just got to mess with it to get it to work. And once you get to work, you can lock it in. And if it's something that isn't moving around, that's fine. But it's not something you can carry from site to site or whatever. You'd have to refix it every time. And if you don't have a, a voltmeter it would, or an ohmmeter, it'd be extremely difficult. But the point is, it can be done. Let me zoom out a little bit here. And just make sure you get the insulation off these wires here. The magnet wire. The lacquer or shellac of it. Alright, so there it is. That's the overly complex diode, just because I can. It's fun. I was going to use it in the crystal radio project, but <clears throat> I don't think it'll work. And especially when you can go out and just buy a ton of these, uh, the correct diodes, or junior diodes. You can buy a ton of those and um, do it that way. So you could, you could be set for a long time. That was like a dollar for a pack. And you could buy strips of a hundred or a thousand if you want. So, anyway... That's it. I just want to point out it's an overly complex diode just for a fun project and because I could. And I'm not going to use it in a crystal radio card because it would just take forever to get it working. Alright, so it's North Carolina Prepper. Please rate, subscribe, and have a great day. Thanks, guys. North Carolina Prepper, out.